welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Don't mind the mess over here. We're having guests over today, so I picked up some snacks at Target last night. I didn't feel like putting them in my cabinet, so they're living on the counter. It is 6.55 a.m. and Jonathan is making pancakes. I just did some yoga downstairs. I have been loving doing just 20 minutes of yoga in the morning before the girls get up. It is one of my new favorite routines, I would say. Especially so at the age where we're, like, we're bending and walking them everywhere. <laughs> we're getting old, that's what he's saying. I didn't say our age, I said their age. Oh, I see their what you're age. saying. Yes, they are at the age where your back is pretty much broken, just constantly trying it's to help them walk. And I feel like it's just gonna get worse. I would say in the last week, they've really started to take big steps. So I think walking is approaching. I feel like once they're actually walking, it's going to be worse. So yoga has been really nice. I'm trying to get Jonathan to do it because his back has been hurting him and he just likes to complain and not do anything about it. It feels great. Right now it feels great? Yeah. That's good. Anyways, welcome to this video. We have a fun weekend in store. Actually, I'm going to take a ginger shot before they get up. Do you want one? No. I think we're going to go for a coffee walk this morning. We have been doing that every weekend the past few weeks. We always love to do that. So we're trying to just bring them into things that we love to do, even if it's a little crazy and chaotic. So there's this coffee shop in Marblehead we've been loving, and we just kind of walk around the neck. I think we're going to do that this morning, right? Yeah. Cheers. And yeah, it was a good week over here. Yesterday I had such a nice day. Took myself on a little afternoon adventure. I feel like I was just feeling really stressed and wound up and there's just a lot going on. But I wanted to just enjoy my afternoon, so I did. And I went thrifting. I want to show you some of the pieces that I picked up because I'm so excited about them. I sat outside at a coffee shop for a little bit. I had to do some work and I had such a nice interaction with this dad. He was like walking his dog and his little four month old in front of the coffee shop and I like saw him struggling trying to like tie the dog up so that he can go inside and me and the dog honestly had a connection and I was like can I just like hold your dog while you go inside he was like would you mind like it was just so sweet and I feel like I'm hyper sensitive or I'm hyper aware of like parents and like new parents and so he was just so grateful he even came out and gave me a gift card to the coffee shop for my next coffee like he didn't have to do that but he was so grateful that he was able to go in and get a coffee so we all just got to help each other out I mean there have been so many times where I could have used help like outside of the home and people just don't notice and it's just sometimes it takes a village like I always say so so pay attention to your surroundings, I guess. All right, it is 7 a.m. We gotta go get these babies up for breakfast. You tired, Bren? Sleepy? Hi. Good morning. Mommy, have your banky? Thank you very much. You too. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Take a morning, Sienna. I know there's Dobby. Is he sleeping? Is that Dobby's tail? Who's ready for pancake? Say hi. Good boy. Oh. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi, good boy. The sun. I know. Yum yums. I know milk. No. Do you want milk? Who loves pancakes more than you? We're late for breakfast. Late for breakfast. I don't want your pancake, I just want kisses. Ran. <laughs> 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 she just wants to run. Do you want to read your favorite Is book? Is Spot in the Clock? <gasps> no. Come on. Sit here. <laughs> 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 Is that a monkey? Is he in the box? No. Under the rug.
perfect morning. It is a perfect morning. I always forget how good your car is for vlogging. That's the only reason I got it. Okay, well we made it out of the house. <laughs> 8.15, pretty proud of us. Oh, we would have been out at 8.10, but... They love to poop right as we're about to get out the door. Everything's in order, sniff the butts. It's usually one's clean, one's dirty. Then the baby that didn't have to get changed before we leave, we get to where we're going and we do a trunk change. It's a whole rhythm. That's what I've been calling all of our chaos lately, a rhythm. Organized chaos? Yes. A nice little rhythm. Her toes in her mouth. Wow. So happy that I have all these little memories. Like I put this dress on. It's one of those romper dresses from Outdoor Voices. And I think like exactly one year ago now is when I wore this dress into Willowdale for a walk with the girls and it was just like so chaotic. I'm just so grateful for all of the different memories that I'm able to capture. And I was just transferring all of my videos onto a hard drive for the last like six months. Every six months I transfer them. These home videos that I have that I otherwise just wouldn't. It's great quality home videos. Yeah, so I just again want to thank you all for following along because it makes it extra worth it. I think I would still find ways to capture. This is just so much more fun. Right? So. Anyways, gonna go get some coffee. A moment for the cystic acne, in case any of you are in the same boat. We all have acne and it's okay. We're gonna get through it. Any remedies for like cystic breakouts, please let me know because around certain parts of my like menstrual cycle, I just get crazy breakouts and I can't figure it out. <laughs> you guys, there is not enough hand sanitizer oh in the world. God. Guys, no. Sanitize me. Don't just bathe one, in it. One. Literally right when I just finished that last clip, we're hanging out, talking, conversing. We're like, why does it smell so bad? I'm looking at you and I'm like, does it smell worse than normal? I turn around. I'm not even gonna describe. I'm gonna save you the details. She's never done that. Like when she was a baby. You guys, it was so bad. We had to pull the car over. It was a massacre. Yeah, it was everywhere. It was everywhere. I'm mortified at that. I just figured I would capture this moment so I remember it forever because it was just such a beautiful experience. We're ready to go with just one complete outfit change. No need for further explanation there. <laughs> Ladies, you were the talk of the town this morning. I can't bring you girls anyway. I know. Where are we, mamas? Wow. Cheers! Doesn't get better than this. <laughs> Are you in a gazebo? Hello, hello, hello. Okay, got home, put the girls down for their nap, even though Sienna is wide awake right now. They both fell asleep in the car on the ride home, and whenever that happens, it's so hard to get them to like wake up and then go back to bed in their crib. We try to quietly transfer them, but they always wake up and then they don't go down very well. Just scrubbed the car seat clean. I have not had to deal with a blowout like that since they were little. Like that was so crazy. I don't even know. I think they're getting to that point where they are very aware of their diapers and they like pull at their diapers. And so I don't know if maybe like she pulled at the side of her diaper and things went awry. I just don't know. But anyways, cleaned the whole car seat and just scrubbed my hands for like five minutes and then sanitized. <laughs> Such a nice morning, so fun to walk around. We met so many people, I can't even tell you. The girls are like magnets. I feel like all babies are magnets. People love babies, but everyone just stops to talk to us about the girls. The girls like wave at everybody. It's really fun and it's such a nice way to start the day. So I got a delicious coffee. This is a new coffee shop we tried today and it was so cute in there. Such a good experience and the coffee is so good. Oh, I can hear my baby. Oh, oh great. Now they are both awake. It was this one that was just up and now, oh my God, this is not good. She was just sound asleep. She was standing up. She now woke her up, which normally doesn't happen, but I feel like they're both not super sleepy. This is just what happens. <laughs> This is not good. They'll go down eventually. What was I saying? Oh yes, coffee. So I'm craving a flavor of this summer season. Like in the fall, I love pumpkin and chai. And in the winter, it's like peppermint mocha or white chocolate. I don't know, in the summer, I was like, what is a good flavor to just have in the summertime? I don't know how I forgot about like coconut, but I was at a coffee shop yesterday and I ordered a cold brew with milk with one pump of mocha, one pump of coconut to make it like an almond joy. And it was so good. And in the coffee shop today, they did not have coconut, they did have mocha. So I got one pump mocha and one pump raspberry. If you're like craving just like a hint of a summery flavor, I would try this because this 
was so good. I just added some more ice to it. I'm really happy about that. I also got myself a croissant. So good. Mm -hmm. Jonathan and I are gonna get the girls lunch ready. We're going to set up this big blow up pool that I got months ago, but because the yard wasn't ready, which the yard is ready, it's pretty much done. Jonathan's not thrilled with it, but as you all know, our whole backyard was just rocks and we completely removed all the rocks and tried to set up the backyard to grow grass. And that takes like a season or two to be fruitful. It's now, you know, ready enough that we can play on it outside. This is like the first weekend we're gonna be able to do that. So I'm excited to show you the progress. But next summer, I think it'll be even better and better. Eventually we'll plant some flowers and all that, but it's perfect for now. Yes, the bubble machine, you saw that I pulled yeah. that out. But before we get started on all of that, I did want to talk about something that I don't really talk about on my channel. And that is sleep and how I struggle with sleep. I feel like this really started in pregnancy where your hormones are crazy, obviously. Stress levels can increase and I feel like that has just continued through motherhood. So I have really struggled with falling asleep at night. I feel like I cannot escape my own mind and then I struggle with staying asleep once I eventually fall asleep and all of that. So I'm always trying to find ways to help with sleep because when I get good sleep, I am just a better person. So recently I did start using the Nutrica Shop Sleep complex supplements and I have noticed such a difference honestly in my overall wellness. It's just not lost on me that getting rest is so important and I notice a difference in my day, in my interactions with people, in my overall health and wellness when I have a good night's rest. This supplement includes magnesium that promotes relaxation and sleep, L-theanine which helps to reduce the amount of times you wake up in the middle of the night which I really struggle with. I'll wake up, I can't go back to bed, it's just a whole thing. So I really look for products and things that can help me just stay in that deep sleep and not wake up. It has GABA, which is a brain calming chemical that again can help you really alleviate yourselves with those um, side effects of stress in your life. 5-HTP that increases your serotonin levels and just again helps you aid into restful sleep. And it also includes melatonin, which I'm sure a lot of us have heard of melatonin or tried melatonin, but I just love that this has all those other ingredients that I just mentioned that helps aid in different areas of sleep. So it just has made a big difference in my life. And so I'm really excited to talk to you guys about Nutrica Shop and include a link down below for you to shop. I encourage you to check out their website, check out their offerings. They have a lot of great supplements and things that can just help aid you in different needs of your everyday life. But I have really, really enjoyed taking the sleep complex supplement. I have definitely seen a difference. I mean, I took it last night and I woke up this morning so well rested and refreshed and ready for the day. I don't feel tired or groggy at all. So I think that it's definitely something to incorporate if it meets your needs. So check them out down below and let me know if you end up trying any of their products. I'd love to hear if you guys love this brand as much as I do. Same with, you know, anything that I talk about. I always love to hear your feedback. So let me know. Okay, somehow managed to have a few minutes before the girls wake up from their nap. I just finished making their lunch and doing some laundry, but I wanted to show you some of the thrifted pieces that I got yesterday because I know I like, I mean, when I scroll TikTok or I'm on social media, I think I might just be in like a phase right now, but I'm so obsessed with seeing other pieces that people have found in thrift stores near them because it kind of inspires me to know what to look for. And I also try to constantly take inventory in my mind of pieces pieces that I almost buy online or I'm like influenced to want because I tell myself keep that in your brain and look for it the next time you're thrifting you know whenever I feel like my closet needs a new piece I'll just keep it in my mind so that I look out for it when I thrift around and that's what I did yesterday and I had such a good day I literally had to leave some things behind to not over purchase and I feel like that doesn't usually happen normally I'm like you know it's different every time I thrift but it's a journey and it's so fun I love thrifting Okay, here we go. This stuff just really gets my heart pumping, you know? So I'm always open to buying jeans when I thrift, when I find good quality pieces that are really affordable. I found these jeans from Zara. I was so excited. I needed just a light wash pair of jeans with no rips. I feel like I have a good amount of jeans with like big rips in them because I like that, but I can't wear that for work. And they are such good quality. Like you can tell the fabric is really good. Zara 
jeans are made with really good materials so I was so excited to find a light wash Zara pair of jeans for literally $25. Originally these are probably close to 100 if not more. Also I've talked about this in previous videos that I've dedicated entirely to thrifting but the best way to tell if jeans are going to fit you is to wrap the head of the jeans around your neck. It seems really strange but if you can wrap the jeans around it perfectly touches then they should fit you. It's a weird method that works with thrifting where you can't really try clothes on. And then I love American Eagle jeans especially their 90s collection and so I do not have a pair of jeans that are ripped this wash so I saw these. How cute they feel like they've never been worn such good quality the rips are intact and the 90s style like boyfriend jeans at um, american eagle can be really expensive and got these for like 20 dollars. and then these pants from urban outfitters has this cool material to it it's kind of like cargo but minimal and just so cute with like a white tee some sneaks for like the fall season or late summer i'm really excited about these i love that like boho pant look and then the next piece is actually not thrifted, but there is this store called Weekend in Beverly, Mass. If you're from the North Shore area, and they have a lot of thrifted pieces that are so good, but they also have a curated collection of new clothing. They're all sustainable, you know, eco-friendly pieces with like really, really good quality. And so I have been on the hunt for a nice pair of like oatmeal linen pants that aren't too expensive because you can spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on this style pant. And I didn't want to do that, but I didn't want to get like a cheap pair from like H&M that would not last me very long. So when I saw this raw string gorgeous pant, I obsessed i know i'm gonna wear this all summer and all fall so flattering in the waist too and then back to the thrifted pieces so another piece from zara it's just this ribbed tank top that's so cute underneath like a sweater or whatever in the fall so i could definitely wear it later on in the year but for now as like a summer statement top it's so cute really flattering on really comfortable i have been on the hunt for a top like this i don't know if you can really see it's like a ribbed material it's one of those tops it's like a cropped top kind of slouchy and it buttons down and I would probably take a few buttons off the bottom and have it kind of just be that relaxed cute fit with a pair of jeans also if you can see up my skirt no you can't there's spandex there so <laughs> I'm realizing that I'm sitting in a very compromised position but it's just shorts and then lastly I knew that I wanted to get a fun sexy like date night top that I can wear going out with Jonathan or even if I go out with the girls whatever it might be I just wanted like a fun sexy top I haven't purchased one of those in a while so I had my eye out and I I saw this one. The material is so good. You can tell it's really high quality, but it's just this little slouchy top that I could wear with jeans or honestly I could pair it with the linen pants if I wanted to. A little edgy and a little sexy and I like that for my nights out. So I was really excited about this piece. So I hope you enjoyed my little mini thrift haul. I again mentioned a video, I can link it up here, that I did when I was pregnant thrifting all around Boston talking about my favorite thrifting tips and tricks and I think it's just such a fun way to shop. Going into the fall I plan to thrift a lot for the girls so I can film a video doing that too. I feel like that'll be really fun and maybe helpful for some of you that are looking to get into thrifting. So anyways, going to wake up the babes, have some lunch, and play outside. I can't be the only parent that has the little pinch me moments throughout the day. Like just looking at their little shoes on the stairs, I'm like, I have two daughters. I'm just so lucky. <laughs> What is that? Whoa! <laughs> oh my god. I almost was like, hey, let's do the bubbles inside. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> she is determined. Oh my god, she's gonna get up. Got it? So close. <laughs> what are you doing? <gasps> yeah, that's the hippo. You can say hi. Blow kiss. Nah, good job, baby. Yay! Red got up. <laughs> Say hi. You're 
so sweet. You say hi to everybody, even the inanimate objects. What are you doing? Oh, come here, Pink Floyd. Come here. Okay, a little bit later on, I don't even remember the last thing that I vlogged. I think it was when we were in the pool with the girls. That was so fun. That feels like forever ago now. We brought them back inside because we were afraid it was going to rain and then we got them down for their nap. We put them down for their nap a little bit earlier than normal because they did not get good sleep earlier as you saw. So they're down now. I showered and got ready. I don't even think I said this, but we are having friends over tonight. I'm so excited. We're having my two best friends, Sienna and Ren's godmoms, um, Lily and Leanne. You guys have seen them in previous videos and their families are coming over. So I'll get to see baby Kane and I'm just so excited. We're going to hang out. Jonathan's planning to grill weather pending, but it seems like it's holding out. So I think we might be okay and just hang out and have some time all together. I'm really looking forward to it. I love hosting. I love being home and cozy. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like my favorite place to be so when I have my favorite people around it's even better But I put on those new pants that I showed you earlier the like oatmeal linen pants I got from that spot in Beverly they just are really cozy so wearing these today I'm gonna hang out wanted to just check in and say what's up I also don't think I've said this but my best friend Leanne she's the one that always does my hair I've vlogged with her before she is actually moving across the country she's moving to San Diego and tomorrow we're having like a going away party for her she's hosting it at, at her family's house and I'm so so excited but it's really starting to hit me that she's leaving and I'm getting really sad so anyways that's gonna be really fun everyone that she loves will be there and I just love her so much I can't wait to party Party and hang out with her family and it'll be a nice little farewell hoorah before she uproots her life across the country she is an icon I'm so excited for her and she just is doing exactly what she wants to do to like spread her wings and take a risk and try something new and so let her be your inspo if any of you are feeling like stuck or you just need something totally different and you just need to try a new place or whatever it might be like she is so inspiring so be like Leanne if you need a push in that direction Direction. Let that be your push, okay? You can do it. I'm also looking over here. I got her some fun things. I've been trying to like pick up things here and there for her just as a little going away gift. Maybe I'll show you some of that tomorrow when I package it all up. I should probably hide that in case they come up here tonight. <laughs> Anyways, that's what's going on. I don't know how much I will vlog while we're all together because I can see myself just forgetting to grab my camera because we'll just be catching up and having fun. But yeah, going to go downstairs. Pull some snacks out, some appetizers for us to munch on before dinner. And that's about it for now. You just seeing what's going on? Okay. You can come on it. <laughs> He's such a little adventure boy. Thank you. Jonathan is making a liquid IV, a cup of liquid IV for us for when we get home tonight. It is now Saturday, if you couldn't gather that. <laughs> it is the next day. It is about 7.30 p.m. Just got ready. I think I mentioned I am going to my best friend's going away party. Right now, we're about to head out the door. We are responsible for bringing speakers, so we really need to get going. But mom and dad are off duty tonight, so we're really excited, hence the liquid IV that Jonathan is making right now. He's like, do you want me to make a liquid IV for when we get home tonight in case we need it? If you know what I mean. That is such a game changer if you're gonna have a few drinks. It really does help. Yeah, I don't think I'll vlog too much tonight. It's gonna be so fun and just hectic and crazy and I really just wanna soak it up. Did have a fun day planned with the girls tomorrow, but it is going to, you guessed it, rain all day. We're gonna go to this flower picking field. It had like blueberries to pick and all that, but they just canceled it because tomorrow's supposed to be so bad. I'm gonna continue to chug my Celsius to wake up. <laughs> I'm so tired. This is like my bedtime right now. I am wearing my little jeans and top that I thrifted. This cute top from Zara and those American Eagle jeans with some little sneaks because we're gonna be in the backyard a lot playing games. We're bringing over Polish horseshoes, which I'm really excited about. I love like backyard games. Anyways, putting together this package for Leanne now of her goodies. I just wrote her card and I cried. <laughs> so I'm emo, but 
let me show you what I got for the party. Okay, this spot actually works. I have you in my side cabinet. I've never put the camera there, but my videos are just me trying to find a convenient spot to place you guys, so there you go. The kitchen's kind of a disaster, don't mind it, but you're eating, yeah. there's gonna be food there. Sound off in the comments if you're a man who eats before he goes out. Yeah, sound off. Jonathan eats before he goes out. That way I don't look like a heathen. You do be eating. I love to eat. We love that about you. I haven't even opened these yet. I literally just unboxed this. <laughs> They're so cute. Jonathan, look. <laughs> but it says, we'll miss your face. She's so beautiful. And then all these little pictures of her with these suitcases. And I feel like... She'll get a kick out of them. You I don't know. Subscriber accuse me of it. Yes, this is the. I don't know if anyone else saw those comments, but one of you on YouTube. That's kind of. We laugh about it all the time. We have been a trio, me, Jonathan, Leanne, and Lily. Uh, but Leanne has always lived like literally a hop and a skip away from us, like one minute away from us for our whole lives. So we've just like always been together. We're so close. And one subscriber in like an old video commented that they thought that Leanne and Jonathan were basically in love, <laughs> which they are, but like platonically. So Jonathan and Leanne always laugh about it. I'm mean, her step-in boyfriend when she needs a meal. Yeah, or... Jonathan is her boyfriend in a lot of ways, so it's completely kosher. Okay, we're running late. I need to run downstairs and get a gift bag. This my little card. Okay, what time is it? 7.47. We're good. My goal is to get there at 8 and she literally lives a 30 second drive away. So we're going to be okay. Two bag options. I guess I can do a little quick mini haul of the things. So I can't really show you what's in here because they packaged it so nicely. But where I got those linen pants, that weekend store, I also got Leanne these super cozy socks. I know it sounds weird, but they're just like really trendy, earthy, organic socks that I think she'll really like. She wears a lot of sneakers and for hairdressing, I think it'll just be like a vibe. I think I got a cool color. I can't even remember now. And then also got her a little pearl bracelet, kind of like the one I have. It's funny. She commented on this yesterday when we were all hanging out, and she was like, oh, I love that so much. Like, I have a necklace kind of like that. I was like, oh, you're going to have a bracelet kind of like it soon. Also, I didn't even recap last night. I feel like I have just not vlogged <laughs> in a million years. So last night was really fun. We had a big family dinner with everyone. Jonathan grilled. We all sat around the kitchen table. I don't have a clip. Lily sent you a little. Lily did send me a little video. You can't really see much, but I'll, I can insert that here. It was so emotional just like sitting at a dinner table with like my best friend, her kids, Lily, Leanne, John. Like it was just such a special, special memory. It was the first time we all sat around a table and like had dinner together as a family, like we are. And it was so special. We just like sat in the backyard, played, hung out. It was a really wonderful evening that I completely forgot to talk about. <laughs> Anyways, I'll just show you quickly. So yeah, in here it's just those socks and the bracelet. And then I got her a homesick candle, the Boston Sense, just so that she can you know start off her new adventure with a little piece of home and then target gift card you just always need something from target and then she's going to san diego and they're so trendy and cute out there and she's such an earthy little queen so i wanted to get her a little workout just athleisure set target has these like free people dupe sets this ribbed material it's honestly like better than free people so i got that for her cozy slippers because Cozy, and that girl loves being cozy. And then a pair of cute little sandals that I thought would be perfect for San Diego. Just some self-care items, like a ton of face masks. She is a self-care queen. Some Burt's Bees chapstick, and honestly, we're in a rush, so let's just <laughs> get this moving. You get the hint. I just try to pick up little things to let her know I was thinking of her, and that I hope that she has the best, best, best transition to this new home that she can possibly have. So I'm going to package all of this up, <laughs> rush out the door, and go celebrate my girl. So I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Sienna! <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> Come to mama. Come to mama. <laughs> Come here, little bird. Sweet girl! Sweet girl! Good morning. It is Sunday. I have no voice. I have no voice. I sang my little heart out last night, so this is the result of that. I'm definitely hurting a little bit today. It's okay. Sign of a good time. The party was so fun. It was 
so fun. I was just looking at like videos and pictures and it's just the roundup is coming through of everyone's moments they captured of the night and it was really fun. We stayed up really late, much later than I normally do. So just a little bit tired today. I'm about to make a coffee. The party was so, so special. All of Leanne's favorite people just singing. She had like, uh, she has this backyard projector where they watch like games and stuff out there, her and her family, and they hooked it up to a karaoke machine or something. I don't even know. We were all just singing karaoke and it was just so fun. I have some clips I'll insert here so you can see what I'm talking about, but we basically just kept picking random songs and singing them and the party was bumping. It was so, so fun, played so many games and it was just really special. I think it was the perfect send off for Leanne and she was so happy and cute the whole night and it was just so fun and my koozies were a hit. I'm so sad, I like didn't order enough of them, I don't think, and everyone was like, trying to steal everyone else's and it was so funny at one point i was like we should just like play drinking games and the winner gets a koozie <laughs> because they were a hit i'll insert another picture here of me lily and leanne lily's pregnant bump i'm so happy we have that photo this was such a special memory i'm really really grateful for it and deserves nothing but the best and now she's ready to be sent off across the country so i'm gonna see her again this week i was like i am not doing my goodbye to you here at this party after all of these drinks <laughs> i'm gonna see you this week i think she leaves like next weekend or in within the next two weeks she's off so it's really fun, I'm gonna miss her so much, but last night was really, really wonderful. And now here we are, another gloomy Sunday. I'm thinking there might be a little pocket of time between the girls' naps. They're down for their nap right now, we just put them down, it's 9.30. I'm thinking after this nap, we might be able to go to a splash pad or something with them. Even if it's really rainy, maybe we'll take them for like a car ride, drive. We like to go get coffee when it's raining and just like bring them by the ocean so they can see it. I just don't like staying in the house all day. I can't do it. I get bored, I feel like they get bored and so we're figuring that out now but we'll see let's make coffee i think this is the day where i'm going to insert an espresso pod into my coffee because don't have red eyes i know i knew you were gonna say that it's not a i just like need an extra boost right now i never do this i tried the new soleil solelio how would you pronounce that? <laughs> it's an espresso pod, it has the same amount of caffeine as like the normal espresso pods, but it's very smooth, they call it. So it just tastes like water to me. I'm going to put a double espresso Chiaro pod into my coffee today, and I want no judgment out of anyone. These cute little shorts, they're from the Good Moms Club. I don't know if it's a brand or if this was just like a line on their store, I can't remember, but so cute. They have like a matching sweatshirt too, but it says Good Moms Club and then oh, Sun Peony Coconut, I think is the brand. I just saw that on the shorts. Coffee is done. Now tell us what was your highlight from last night? We did win Flip Cup, which was good. Who was the best Flip Cup player ever last night? Uh, what's her name was impressive. Uh, and uh, uh, John had a good game. Oh my God, now you're just being fresh. It was me. You did have a good night. A good You're night. A I'm player. an iconic flip cup player. No, Don't even. It's, it's not a cold legacy He's here. Like me. It's just me. I don't know if you're in the Hall of Fame yet. I am the Hall of Fame. Oh man, this is gonna just revive me. I read something, you guys. Oh boy. Let's all call it what it is. We're a little hungover today. But I've never had a hangover in my life. Jonathan truly has not ever been hungover. It's the most annoying quality, but it's nice because he can like be more productive than me when I'm hungover. I mean, when you have kids, you don't get to be hungover. So like we're hungover right now, or I am, but it doesn't matter. You just have to tell yourself you're not. Mental. But what I was getting at is that I read, like all of us are obviously, we all believe, right? That when you're hungover, it's dehydration. But I saw a thing that was like, no, it's not dehydration. It's like your hangover is your body's reaction to inflammation or something. And so then they were like, the best thing you can do is obviously like take anti and inflammatory like um, like supplements like Tylenol, whatever, which obviously a lot of us already know that. I thought that was interesting because a new study is basically saying it's not dehydration at all. It's completely because of like inflammation, like your body fighting off, obviously <laughs> alcohol is poison. So it's like trying to fight it off. I don't know, whatever. I was just convinced that it was like pure dehydration, but apparently it's not according to one new study. Apparently. So on that note, I am going to take a turmeric shot because this is <laughs> for <laughs> inflammation. 
So this should get rid of my hangover. Sorry for all the noise. Jonathan is making cold brew right now, if you guys care to see the process quickly. We like to pick up these coffee grounds from Atomic. It's a um, coffee shop near us. When you can buy from like local shops, it's just more fresh. Like you literally buy the beans, they grind it for you. It's just so good. We're cleaning this right now, but this is the mason jar style cold brew maker that we have. It's um, from Amazon. I've linked it before. I can link it again. But it's really cool. It just has like a little filter. You put the coffee grounds in, water. I think that it's a really great thing to incorporate, especially in the summer months. This cold brew on deck is... Cheers. Oh my God, that is so good. Something that I did not say yesterday is that yesterday was July 15th, which was actually our girls' due date last year. So they were born six weeks early. And July 15th is their official official gestational one year. And you know if you have like preemie babies that essentially the whole first year you have to adjust all of their development and all their milestones by their gestational age. So like if your child is six weeks premature, you deduct six weeks from like their actual age up until the first year. It's just really special because now that they've hit their gestational one year, we don't have to adjust anything anymore. And you probably just saw some clips of us this morning. The girls are like walking. I mean, well, they're stepping. They're what is walking. it called? You think they're walking? Yeah, they're oh, walking. that makes me so emotional. No, what the heck? What the heck? I don't know. That was something that I wanted to mention. Like, happy gestational one year to Sienna and Ren because now we don't have to adjust anything. Like, they are just yep. living life. Training wheels are off, kids. Training wheels are go off. Go get a job. Stop. But I might drink some coffee and go do some reading. I said this in my Q&A video, my last video, that I'm reading Hunt, Gather, Parent right now. I'm just about done with it. I'm kind of savoring it and trying to really like dive into each chapter and let myself react and have feelings that I like analyze every time I finish a chapter because it's unlike any other parenting books that I've read. So I'm trying to just really like digest it and see how it like makes me feel, if that makes sense. So I'm trying not to rush through it, but I am almost done. Jonathan's gonna read it next. Let me know if any of you have read that book. I highly recommend it if you have not read it. It's been really cool and eye-opening. And some things, honestly, I agree with. Some things I don't. There's some approaches she takes that I don't plan on taking, even after hearing her, like, reasoning. It's just a really cool book. When I'm done, I want to. So maybe next weekend, in next weekend's vlog, I should be done, depending on how busy work is this week. But I'll talk more about it then. should start a book club. We should start a book. Well, it's funny. I was talking with Lily last night about wanting to start a book club. I just feel like I want to be held more accountable to read more. I feel like when I have free time, I often don't read because my brain gets too distracted by life. But if I had a book club, it would hold me accountable. So if any of you are in book clubs, let me know. Like, how do you get into it? I was craving nachos. So decided to just whip this together. We had some roasted peppers from Friday night's dinner left over and we had this chicken that Jonathan cooked in some like Tabasco spice or something. I don't know. I was like, I'm just gonna throw this together. I made a little bit of guac with some salsa. This is gonna be so good. As a kid, I would always come home from school and make oven nachos. I don't know if anyone else did, but. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, no, doing the chicken dance. This is one of those lunches that requires a full outfit change. Yeah. Is that funny? <laughs> Chew your food. Chew your food. That's <laughs> daddy doing. <laughs> Hands up. A roller coaster. To the window. To, to the wall. wall. Okay. She's just been staring at the rain for the last few minutes. It's like torrentially downpouring outside right now. So cool. See your babes like see things for the first time and be so like aware of them. Back in the ball pit. What color ball? <gasps> Is that a red ball for mama? Can mama have it? Oh, thank you. <laughs> rain, rain. How's this one go? Rain, rain, go away. That's what all my oh, haters I say. I have one. The children's one. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Should we go for a car ride? The old man is snoring. What else? It's a raining man. Umbrella. Come on, I know you got one. In the vault. You can do purple rain. Is that Prince? Yeah. Mount Rushmore of songs about rain. Um, I think I got the best top three. Country song, rain makes corn, corn makes Oh, no. Sleep. When it rains, it pours. 
Oh, yeah. That's Luke, Luke Combs. Combs. You said rain makes corn, corn makes whiskey. Whiskey oh, makes my baby. It's a little frisky. I feel like we nailed the top one. Yeah, you did great. Thanks. You did great. Well, we packed the kiddos up and we're going to drive by the beach because it's really cool when the waves come crashing down. Let the rain fall down. Yep, that that, that is number one. Yeah. Wow, almost forgot about that Who's one. Who's that, JoJo? No, Hillary Jo. Uh, but that's the plan for now. Girlies are just enthralled with though. the windows. Yeah, maybe get some coffee. Just got back from our car ride, played for a little while, and put the girls down for their nap. I did get an iced chai that I'm very excited about to chug on this nap. Get some laundry done, I think. Jonathan's going to Home Depot. Love you. I love you. Drive safe. Always. And I think I'm going to end this vlog off here. I feel like the rest of the day is going to be pretty low key. We are gonna try to do a movie. We have not ever really watched a movie with the girls. They, I anticipate they won't watch the movie. We don't really do screen time. Not even for any reason other than we just have, don't really do it other than when I need to clip their nails I plop them in front of the screen but it just feels like a movie day today and I want to just see how that goes and just be cozy with them I think that's just that's all she wrote for this weekend if you guys haven't subscribed please hit the subscribe button it's really fun around here it's a great community of people and I would love to have you part of it so definitely subscribe if you haven't and yeah I think that's all thanks for being here and I will see you next week I dare you to be wilder I don't fit into your parts Beauty queens with final flowers